everybody welcome back to my channel this is something that i actually was not aware of did you know that you can actually see the international space station from planet earth the timing needs to be correct of course you need to be in the right spot and i think that the best time to see it is when the sun is actually still illuminating it so probably right after sunset around the sunset time it's probably the best time i'm in new york city today and I'm looking forward to seeing it. I actually have seen it before in the past when I was in the upper Midwest. I looked up into the sky and I saw this object moving across the sky. I had absolutely no idea what it was. I love looking at airplanes in the sky and this definitely was not an airplane because it did not have any flashing lights on it. There was no green light, there was no red light. So I kind of did some research and I actually discovered that that was the International Space Station. So this evening, it's gonna be my second time. Hopefully I'm going to be able to see it. I'm using an iPhone tonight and I'm going to try to capture it on my iPhone. It's a beautiful night. Uh, it's a little bit brisk in the air. I'm actually out on the water in New York to be in a space where I can actually see a lot in the sky and uh, hopefully I'll be able to capture it. So let's just wait a couple of more minutes. According to the app that I'm using, it should be passing just south of New York City. So let's see. It is an absolutely beautiful night tonight in New York City in mid-September. That is the moon in the sky. Um, so that's actually a good sign. I can see the moon very, very clearly. Uh, it's just part of the moon, but you never know. You may be able to see the International Space Station with me later. So the sky behind me is the area that I'm going to be looking in according to the app that I'm using, which is an ISS tracker. It should appear uh, in, towards that direction to start off with and move in that direction towards the end of its uh, journey over New York City. The ISS has been in orbit for 21 years, and there are currently three people on board, so we'll wave high as they pass by New York. What a great sunset tonight. And you can see behind me, the moon is becoming more and more vivid. This is very exciting. I'm really hoping to capture this. When I started looking at the International Space Station on the app just a few moments ago, it was over Australia and New Zealand, and it will be over New York very, very soon. It makes 15 revolutions around the planet each day. All right, one of the first celestial objects is now in the sky right over there. It looks like a star. Uh, the star is obviously a lot f further away than uh, the International Space Station. The International Sta Space Station is only about maybe 240 by 360 feet. So it's a rather small object compared to a star or a planet. Not sure exactly what that is up there, but it's a lot closer to Earth. And I think the sun is going to be in a great position to illuminate it to see it from here. That's the International Space Station. Really, really, really fast, really, really high up and very well lit because of the position of the sun. You can actually see the moon right over there. Beautiful evening to capture the International Space Station just south of New York City. This is September of 2020. Absolutely amazing. I'll zoom in once again. Now, of course, it kind of just looks like a ball of white. You're really unable to see all the components of the ISS, but that is indeed it. It has moved uh, pretty high into the sky. I'll zoom out once again so you kind of just get a perspective. Again, I am on the water here in New York City just to be in a spot where I'm able to see basically a little bit more. All right, there it is actually right over my head. I got the sailboat uh, to my side, just kind of like a reference point so you can see it moving. ISS, there are people right over there. It's super, super bright tonight. The uh, sun is not completely set. There's a little bit of brightness in the sky out to the west. The ISS is very, very, very easily spotted this evening. Check it out. I'm actually going to move over a little bit as it passes almost directly overhead. Wow, absolutely amazing to see this. And I'm just going to go pan up. You can see the sky is still a little bit bright. We're looking in the uh, eastern direction and the ISS is moving. Air traffic is uh, actually pretty light this evening. It's a Saturday night in New York City, and we're also in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, so there's really not a lot of other distractions in the sky with um, planes. Planes are very easily identified because of their flashing lights, and we're not gonna see much of that this evening. Plane flew over just a couple of minutes ago, but it really wasn't um, 
anything that was going to be too distracting. It's always very nice to see this on an evening when you can uh, have a pretty clear sky right above New York City, or actually south of New York City, but it almost looks like it's over New York City. Absolutely amazing. All right, I did speak too soon. There is one airplane that is flying below it uh, in the opposite direction, probably coming into LaGuardia. That airplane does have a flashing light on it. Have any of you actually seen the International Space Station? If you have, let me know about it. You can leave your comments in the comment section below. I've actually only seen it once. I may have actually seen it before in the past, just didn't know. Maybe I dismissed it as a shooting star, but shooting stars tend to just disappear into the uh, night sky. This one will actually appear all the way up until I can't see it anymore, whether there's an issue of visibility or it just goes below the horizon. Absolutely amazing. All right, it's almost gone. It's uh, over, probably over Canada at this point. I actually have not been checking the app because I'm filming this on my phone and I don't want to miss out on any recording of the ISS because it's just amazing to see that. There are people up there and they're really, really far away. All right, well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Have a great evening.